I personally never have gotten on a road trip before. So I'm not really sure what to expect of this list. I expect my predictions for this list are probably gonna be um, Born to be Wild by uh, Steppenwolf. So something like that, like their, their road tripping in the music video. So I believe that is gonna be on the list. Uh, yeah, it is <laughs> fucking hell. I hoped, I really hope that this was on the uh, on the Watch Mojo channel, but unfortunately, it is on the Miss Mojo channel, and it only has forty thousand uh, views. So that only says how great of a channel Miss Mojo is. Yeah, um, top ten ultimate road trip anthems. I mean, <sighs> fucking hell. Um, yeah, um, the thumbnail. Is that fucking guy um, that interviews celebrities in in uh, in his car? I'm not, I'm not even sure how, how that how that guy is called. Um, carpooling with carpool karaoke or something. That's serious. That is on the thumbnail. Seriously, Miss Mojo. Fucking hell. Yeah. Um, I said a few videos back ago that I really had to put that Miss Mojo had the potential to be a regular because they actually made a good list. But they have gone really downhill with the uh, with the sequel of that, and this video is probably going to be shit as well. So we're going to check it out, but it's probably going to be shit. So yeah, not a, not a big surprise there, but still. The opener. <laughs> the opener is Spice Girls, and then they're going to follow that up with Smash Mouth. Oh, and I and I had potential with this channel. I really had. Don't play Smash Mouth. I want to shut off this video so fucking bad now. I really do. You know, I talked about memes in my uh, previous videos, uh, that the songs are ruined by the memes. But, you know, meme uh, Smash Mouth because they're shit to begin with, so that doesn't matter. I'm gonna mute this part because they're not a great channel and you shouldn't subscribe to them. Instead of that, subscribe to me because I upload daily and I'm not saying I'm a great channel, but I'm not making these horrible fucking lists like Miss Mojo does. Fucking hell. <laughs> Not I want, I'm gonna be 500 miles. That is the one song that, um, that Toss in the Shadows, that he's a great reviewer. The only problem I have with that channel is that he only reviews pop songs. He, he can review so much stuff. He can review indie stuff, ambient stuff, metal, rock, progressive stuff. He can check out R&B. He can check out so many things, but he only covers pop, man. Go figure. Go figure. Um, Sarah McLachlan, I believe this is. Number 10, a thousand. Vanessa Carlton. Miles. Vanessa Carlton. That was... Um, uh, Sarah McLachlan was in the previous video with Angel. I, I thought those were the same, those uh, two artists, but there we are. Another fucking dead meme. <sighs> Miss Mojo is so successful. cheesy. From the minute the instantly recognizable piano melody comes in, there's an unspoken understanding that no one changes the song for the next I think if you have some brain cells in you, then you know. Uh, that is basic what they just said, but whatever. Although the intro clips were horrible my, by Miss, Miss Mojo, the videos are getting better though, I have to say that. They are getting better. You know, it is hard to, to, f uh, to make worse videos than getting ready to go out and um, top 10 songs to sing in the shower. Those two are still requested um, or suggested by YouTube because I watched them once. Good job, good job YouTube, good job. I shouldn't watch them on my Ominous Nose channel because my feed is gonna be fucked up after this. 
They think I, I want to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. No, no. Number nine, take it easy. The Eagles. <sighs> the fucking Eagles. What better use is there for a road trip than to remind Is she wearing a skirt? Seriously? Why are you wearing that? Why? I mean, your music is shit, but your outfits as well? Fucking hell. Wearing some sort of pajama on stage where you don't give a fuck about your live shows and you just wake uh, wake up, you know. That is the Eagles for you. At least they're not playing Hotel California. I'm happy for that. I really do. So fucking done with that song. You know, you can say to me when country was good if you can consider the Eagles um, uh, country, but still, fucking country, man. Fucking hell. Oh, no, not this, not this. Not, not this. How is this a road trip? I mean, did they explain at the beginning this, this is a road trip, Anton? No, they don't. I think to entertain everyone, but this this just makes my uh, my eardrums bleed, man. Even that girl in the music video was scoffing our ears. That's our shit it is. You know, I don't hate Outkast. There are some rap acts like uh, Outkast and uh, Nas. Artists like that. Uh, there's another one that is one of my favorite hip hop tunes. And believe me. I don't hate hip-hop in its entirety. I do have some hip-hop classics that I like. Uh, Mob Deep? Yeah, yeah, Mob Deep. Uh, they are really talented, I think. Uh, some acts like that, but you know, mainly I hate hip-hop. But those are some acts that I, that I enjoy. But hey, yeah, it's a, it's a basic sellout pop tune for me. It really is. You know, this this was just a record where Outkast thought to themselves, we're gonna sell out, whatever. Technically speaking, hey ya has no reference to travel or the open road. But it's you know, I have some diverse music days, I must say. I don't listen a lot to hip hop, but still. <laughs> that hairline. For maximum enjoyment, we recommend turning the radio up to 11, rolling down the windows, and shaking it like a Polaroid picture. Please don't do that. Miss Moji gives the worst advice ever. Number seven, Perm, Bruno Mars. Perm. Forget the inner piece of the open road. Don't play that karaoke garbage, man. Is that guy? Um, that guy was, I believe, in the emoji movie. I, I haven't watched it, but still. I could recognize his voice. Don't watch that garbage, please don't. Um, if you don't know, um, Mr. Mr. Enter or something like that, that is a YouTuber. He um, he reviews animated stuff. He's gonna do the emoji movie next week. <laughs> Are you excited? No, I'm not. But still. Uh, does that even mean? Don't say not this fucking movie. Wasn't this a movie with Tom Cruise? Top Gun, fucking hell. Tom Cruise, man. Tom Cruise. Dang, he's a 
combine into the danger zone. In all seriousness, this song could make a trip to the supermarket feel thrilling, so it's certain to highlight the adventure of the upcoming spring break like no other song out there. With a chorus that's easy to memorize and fun to sing along with, this dance rock hit will make you feel straight dangerous. No, it doesn't. I'm not gonna imitate those guys, but <laughs> just look up, I'm gonna be 500 miles. You're gonna laugh. Put, put that on a try not to laugh challenge and you're gonna fail miserably. Their accents, man. Oh. One hit wonder said they're fine, man. That accent, that haircut, that all oh, that everything. I love it. <laughs> now that is a fucking road trip, Anton. And they have to fuck it up again. Oh. I'm not saying I'm gonna be 500 miles of a great song, but still, it fucking destroys wannabe. I, I, I think I I know why this list is so horrible um, because th they're saying a road trip with the girls so they're probably talking about girls here that is mainly why I hate these lists so much because they're centered for girls I forget that sometimes but yeah that is I think the reason why these lists are so horrible maybe girls like them that this is maybe really sexist for me to say but you know we have differences uh, the sexes. Um, so yeah, I I think that is mainly the reason that these lists are centered for girls and that they are too girly for me. Maybe that is the reason. That is maybe why I hate them so much. But they're not for me. No, you don't. That is why it is such a big hit. Because it is mindless pop. Mindless bubblegum garbage pop music. You gotta be with my friends. Those fucking lyrics, man. If I want to fuck you, I gotta fuck your friends first. Great fucking lyrics, Spice Girls. Great, great lyrics. Hold me closer, Tony Denza, Mr. Lyrics. Oh, uh, Tiny Dancer, of course. I do enjoy me some Elton John, though. I really do. Is this for girls? I don't know. I wouldn't say so. So, I think the problem is with Miss Moshe that they. Uh, that is mainly for girls, like Spice Girl that is really, you know, a girly group act. They're all girls, stuff like that. But they are trying to maintain or they're trying to uh, appeal to a male audience as well, if they are watching like me. And yeah, don't do that, it is really fucking garbage. I, I think mostly males are watching this, that is really ironic as well, so there we are. 
Um, but still, they are trying to combine those two things and that is a recipe for disaster. Just stick to, you know, a girly list or just mainly male list. Don't fucking combine the two. That is, yeah, that is my advice right there. This classic ballad was originally written to capture the spirit of 1970s California. With Tiny Dancer, it's clear Elton John knows how to make music that's undeniably good for the soul. They're almost famous. Is it? I mean, how is this a road trip anthem? It's, yeah. I don't even have to explain this song, man. It is so legendary, but... How is it a road trip anthem? Identified with a particular group, body, or cause. A good road trip anthem embodies the wanderlust lifestyle. And by that logic, Bohemian Rhapsody... And maybe because of the lyrics, because they're so... You know, you can really sing along with the lyrics. But... You also have wannabe, so I don't really get the list. Outstanding road trip anthem. You know, how is this how is this really this masterpiece on the same list as fucking Spy Girl, Spice Girls? How the fuck? And Bruno Mars, I mean come on. This power ballad These are just so inconsistent, aren't ballad. they? Fucking hell. Oh damn, uh, take on me. Why wasn't this on the list, man? Ah, oh, such a classic song. Tom Cochrane, Life is a Highway. Yeah, this, although I hate the song, I have to say it is a road trip because it is about the highway. It is about cruising, about... Um, you know, a road trip. So, why wasn't this on the list? Fucking hell. Born to be what? I predicted this one, Steppenwolf. I thought it was gonna be number one, but you know, they're road tripping. Born to be wild on the fucking highway. Why wasn't this obvious crap on the list? Why? You know, I don't like the song, but, but still. Such an obvious song and they don't put it on the list. But they put Wannabe on the list. Are they gonna... No. No, they're not normal. Number one, on a I, I'm done with Miss Marge. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. I, I said that I'm gonna give them more of a chance. Maybe if their videos were getting better. But Bon Jovi at number one. Miss Marge, you go fuck yourself. The shower video, strike one. The uh, the songs to go out for, part, uh, strike two, and now this fucking garbage. Two, you're fucking out, Miss Mojo, you're out. It is so fucking generic. It is so dated, it is so crappy, it, it is just crappy glam rock, man. You know you have great glam rock like uh, David Bowie and Queen in the in the early uh, in the early days. Well, in their entire career, but still, great glam rock acts do exist. They really do. But Bon jo fuck Bon Jovi, man. Horrible band. That vinyl vocal range is so horrible. Slippery went crap. Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and Horrible fucking album. Yeah, uh, that list was horrible. Um, surprise, right? That is Ms. Mojo. Um, I really had potential for this channel and they fucked it up again. Yeah, guys, I'm done. I'm really done. Um, I'm just gonna finish up, I believe. I believe I have five more videos for Ms. Mojo to do. Uh, two more today. For the week and then I'm just gonna 
uh, do one week more I believe from for Miss Mojo and then I'm gonna never touch this channel again because it is just fucking garbage it is so inconsistent um, I predicted to myself that they were all about the girls like wannabe but then I put fucking Bohemian Rhapsody on the list so I'm just gonna ask this Miss Mojo who are you appealing to? Are you appealing to girls? Are you appealing to guys who watch girly stuff? Or are you appealing to both? So, because it, I can't really tell at this point. Their lists are so inconsistent. I really don't get it. So if you know it, then let me know because I really don't get the Miss Mojo's logic, logic here. Watch Mojo has some horrible lists as well. They have thousands, right? But, but still, they appeal to the general public and Miss Mojo is trying to appeal to multiple things so I really I really don't get it but if you know it then let me know like I said um, I hope you've enjoyed this video let me know what you think about the list and enjoy fucking horrible list but I hope you enjoyed my commentary on it that is mainly why I'm doing this logic fucking use it Miss Mojo <laughs>